Uh, good evening, everybody, and thank you for inviting me to, uh, to, to say something about Marine Limited. That is a very important problem for our city and also for me. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot be there for you, but uh, anyway, I would like to say something about this uh, particular problem. Uh, as you know, Maria Litter is a very worldwide problem, but is also a problem for our sea, for, uh, for the Adriatic Sea. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of data about the problem of Maria Litter in the Adriatic Sea, and this is another problem because we need data to have uh, an idea of the amount of the problem and also to have an idea about the sources that, case, uh, that cause the problem in our uh, sea. Uh, we had uh, in, uh, in the last year uh, the, the final result of a project that is called the Fish Gear project. And uh, there we have some numbers, and the, the, these are important, that, so you can have an idea of the problem in, in the Adriatic uh, Sea. Just some numbers to, to, just to, to, to create a picture. Uh, the average beach litter density is of 605 H items every 100 meters. It means that every 100 meters of beach, we have six, more than 600 pieces of garbage. Uh, the, the, the abundance of beach litter revealed that the beach most affected are those surveyed in Croatia, so in your country. We have 2.9 items per square meter. The second one is Slovenia with 0.5. So it means that Croatia is 2.9 and the second one is just 0.5 items per square meter. And then we have Montenegro 0.3, Italy 0.3 and, and so on. The average density of floated macro liter in the coastal Adriatic water was found to be between 3 330 and 350 height per square kilometers, and the average seafloor liter density uh, is more than 400 items per square kilometer. So, as do you do you know, as do you understand, is a very big problem in the Adriatic. It's a huge problem that we have to face uh, in some way. In what ways? There are a lot of things that we can do to face, to tackle the problem of Mari Litter. For, for, fortunately, at the moment, we have the attention and the focus of the world about Mari Litter. We just had the United Nations conference in New York uh, related to the ocean. It, it was the first time. And then we will have another conference about the ocean in Malta in next October, organized by the European Commission. What we can do? We can do a lot of things as citizens, as cities, uh, at the country level, at the regional level, and of course at the European level. Talking about the European level, for me the most important thing is to have the strong, strong policy about the prevention of creating the waste. In nature, we have no ecosystem that creates waste. We are the only beings that create waste, and we have to, to work on this. We, are, we have to work on the prevention. So one of the important moves that the European Union did about the problem is the uh, proposal of uh, the European, uh, sorry, the, the, the circular economy package. Circular economy is a rare, um, simple idea. We, at the moment, we have a linear economy. Um, we have materials, we create goods, and then we, we have waste. And then we have to close the circle. We have to have materials to create goods, and then this, this, uh, this good can become something else in order to have a circular economy and not create wastes. So prevention is the most important thing, and in this package we have something very important about the directive on waste, the directive on package, that if well implemented, it will tackle the problem of waste and it will tackle the problem of marine litter. And then we are waiting for the European Commission proposal about the plastic strategy. It will come in the, in the next month and it will be very, very important because, of, uh, as you know, around 90% of marine litter is plastics. So if we tackle the problem of the creation of waste, plastic waste, we will tackle also the problem of, of uh, marine litter. 
And another important piece of paper coming from the European uh, Union was on November 2016, and is the communication about the ocean governance. Communication that is divided in 14 points, and one of these points, the point number nine, is related to fighting marine litter and the sea of plastics. So a lot of things that we, uh, we are doing about uh, the problem. And uh, just a few words about what we can do also for a very specific problem. 10% of the marine litter comes from the fishery industry. It's a double problem because they are waste on our sea and because they are uh, waste dangerous because the abandoned fishing gear, abandoned fishing lines continue to fish in, in time in our seas. So this is a double problem and we can do more. We can do a lot of work with the fishery industry to prevent the problem and also uh, it's important to have uh, implementation of law, regulation for the ports and for the harbour in order to receive the, the, the waste that the fisher collect usually during the, during the operation of fishery and in order to have a, a structure that, that can bring a, a good practice in order to also to help the fishermen to help the, the sea. Many, many things that we can do. As citizens, we can do a lot because many of the marine litter comes for our behavior, our, uh, what, 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 what we create as waste, our behavior, what we put on the sea. So many things are, are running, but of course, for me, the most important thing is to implement a good, strong policy in order to prevent marine litter. It's good to have kind of this, uh, this kind of conference because we have to put together our ideas, our intention, our progress because we have to face the problem because the problem is growing and in the last in the next future we have to face it uh, to have to face it anymore. So uh, good work for this, this conference. There is a, a lot of things that we can do and we can do it together and it's important to, to do something very strong and very important for our Adriatic Sea. Thank you.